Hi friends, Cole, thanks for joining me. I'm on retreat at Danina in Southern Sicily. And this is my assistant today. I don't know what, there's about 20 little kitties running around. They're little purr joy boxes. So she'll be in and out. Um, and yeah, it's just been beautiful out here. Countryside, stillness, quiet, feels really contemplative and just being able to slow down is just so good. And man, the sunsets we've had, beautiful, beautiful. So I highly recommend it if you are in Sicily. And today, just going to play around with some transitions, um, make it fun, be lighthearted as we move. And we're just putting new patterns in the body. It's just really good to kind of explore at our edges and yeah, see what happens when we're thrown off balance just a little bit. So stay with me and bring some curiosity as we move, yeah? Let's actually start in child's pose. And we're gonna take an active child's pose. So tuck the toes and then extend the arms long. And we'll just take a couple rounds of breath here. So feeling breath on the left and the right side body. And the back body as well. Fill up in between the shoulder blades on your inhales. And then begin to gaze forward. And we're gonna drag the hands back just a little bit. And we'll take an active child's pose. So listen up. Really claw, as if you had little kitty claws. Claw the hands down into the mat. Drag them back towards the knees so that the heart can pull forward. Make some movement here so you can feel a little bit of the buoyancy and kind of have that, um, that cat-like, uh, what am I looking for? Pounce, cat-like pounce sensation. So hands are dragging towards the knees, heart is moving forward. And we're gonna pull ourselves forward, like you're moving through a lot of resistance. Pull yourself forward, heart lifts, gaze up, cow pose. And then exhale, really push, push, push into the ground, pull the belly towards the spine, cat pose, and then shift the hips back. So we'll do this a little bit quicker here. And inhale, you're gonna gaze forward, kind of like you're coming up underneath something. Pull yourself forward, come up into cow. And then exhale, round the back, push away as you bring the hips back. Continue like this. It'll take a little bit to put it in your body, but you'll find a rhythm. Up, round and come back. So continue to move. I'll just add a little bit of nuance here. When you pull forward, drag the hands and the knees towards each other and then push into the earth and push the hands towards the top of the mat as you go back. A Couple more times like this. So you can use a lot of leverage here to change this movement sensation. Once more, inhale, drag yourself forward and then exhale, downward facing dog. Sticking with the cat theme here, let's cat paw the hands and the feet like you're trying to find that perfect place to lay. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, the knee comes down halfway up the mat. This might be new. Inhale, the left leg lifts. Exhale, chest, chin come down to the ground. So bring it all the way down. The left leg will come up. Tuck the back toes, the right toes under. Big transition, push into the earth, tripod down dog. Yes. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, tripod down dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Step all the way through in between the hands. The back heel is gonna plant down, prepare for warrior one. So feet are on train tracks a little bit. Now, instead of waving the hands back and pulling yourself up with momentum, we're gonna push down through the feet, push down, down, down to lift the heart up. Warrior one. Really push out the back heel, really strong in the back leg. Let's move a little bit with breath here. On an inhale, you're gonna open the arms up, lengthen the front leg, open the heart. So it can be quite a small movement and then exhale, sink down. More about the nuance. 
inhale, lengthen the front leg, open the heart, cactus arms, and exhale, warrior one. Again, inhale, lengthen and open, and then exhale, the hands are gonna come together, front knee bend, shift forward into a warrior three. Lift the left leg up just for one beat, and then exhale, the right foot meets the left, bend the knees, cat cow in the back. Open and close. This does not matter what it looks like, just get into a rhythm. Once more, inhale, and exhale, fold forward. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg lifts. Exhale, step halfway up the mat. Inhale, the right leg lifts. And exhale, chest, chin come down to the ground, the back toes tuck, big transition, push down, lift up, tripod. Exhale, knee to nose, press the ground away, lots of space between the heart and the floor. And inhale, up and back, tripod. Exhale, step all the way through. The back heel plants down, prepare for warrior one. Press down to lift up, so moving with strength. Inhale, open the heart, lengthen the leg. Exhale, warrior one. Inhale, lengthen, open. And exhale, once more. Lengthen, open. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Begin to shift forward. Really bend that front leg so you can pounce up, warrior three, just one breath. And then exhale slowly, left foot meets the right. Cat cow in the spine. So really moving lots of waves today. Once more, inhale and exhale, fold forward. Step back. Downward facing dog. Inhale to the toes. Bend the knees and send the heels over towards the right. All right, listen. The left foot comes all the way down. The full foot is on the ground. The right foot can come to the toes and the leg can be bent. You can keep the hands on the ground here. We'll begin to gaze under the left arm and lift up. So it's a Side plank, Vashistasana variation. And then exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do this on the other side. Inhale to the toes, bend the knees. Send the heels to the right. The back foot, the right foot comes all the way down. Left foot to the toes, leg can be bent. Big side, moon. And downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. We'll add on. Exhale, halfway up the mat. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, chest, chin come down to the ground. The back foot is tucked. Big transition, tripod down dog. Exhale, step all the way through in between the thumbs. Back heel plants. Push down to lift up, warrior one. Exhale, stay here. Inhale, open the heart. And exhale, shift forward, warrior three. But just for a moment, and we're gonna reach back for the foot. Options here. You can just take a quad stretch as you lift, woo, lift the torso up. Or Natarajasana, dancer pose. Kick into the hand as the hand pulls back. Front palm opens and extends. So there's a really wide range of where you can go here. But gaze at something that's not moving. Soft bend in the standing leg. We're gonna come back to warrior one. So slowly, kind of moving through warrior three as you step back, open up warrior one. Yes. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale. Close it off. A little bit of cat cow right here. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl in. And we'll move again into Natarajasana. Inhale, open. And exhale, 
shift forward. So maybe not bringing the hands to the heart, coming right in to Natarajasana. So many options here. You can even take the hand down towards the ground as another balance challenge. And then slowly bending the standing leg, take a big step back, back of the mat, warrior one. Slow little cat cows in the spine. One more time. Inhale, open, and then exhale, shift forward. Not to Rajasana, your choice. Make it smaller, make it bigger. All right, big transition coming up. Eagle pose, slowly releasing the leg. The right leg wraps on top of the left, the left arm wraps on top of the right, so opposites. Sink down. Steady breath. I have an extra challenge here with this kitty. We're gonna come back to warrior two. I know the legs are burning. The arms are going to open up the leg slowly, ninja style. Right foot steps back to the back of the mat, <laughs> warrior two. Maybe it's graceful, likely it's not. Inhale, reverse warrior. Maybe lift the front heel so you can sink a bit deeper in the hips. And exhale, downward facing dog. Shake it out, wiggle the hips. We'll do this on the other side. So whatever happened, whatever didn't happen, don't worry about it. Let's actually come down into this active child's pose for a moment and take a couple cat cows from here. So inhale, coming up, cow, and then exhale, cat, round it back. Again like this, drag yourself forward, open up, and exhale, push back. Once more, inhale, drag yourself forward and up and exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step halfway up the mat and inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, chest, chin come down to the ground and big transition, tripod down dog. <sighs> step in between the thumbs and back foot plants. <laughs> Press down to lift up, warrior one. Take a moment here, really kicking through the back heel, really rooting down. Inhale, open the heart and exhale, close it off. So these can be really little. Next inhale, open and exhale, begin to shift forward, warrior three three, but just for a moment as you grab for the back foot, the inside or the outside. Kick and lift. Remember we have three rounds, so you can incrementally move up and slowly stepping back. The toes land, the heels land. Warrior one, a little bit of movement in the spine. And exhale, begin to shift forward. Not to Rajasana. Kick and lift. Gazing at one thing, one not moving thing. Bend the standing leg as you step the left foot back. It can really help the balance. And wave out the spine. One last time. Natta Rajasana coming forward. Pressing down through the right foot to lift the left leg. Kick and lift. Moving in to eagle pose. So slowly lifting the torso up. The left leg 
wraps around the right, the right arm wraps around the left, sink the hips, press everything into one another. One more breath. Slowly unwind, think yoga ninja, warrior two. Feel a little fire in the leg, breathe through it. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior, lift the front heel maybe, sink the hips low. And exhale, ha, downward facing dog. Wiggle the hips. Inhale to the toes. Exhale, heel, heels over towards the right, same as we did last time. Left foot fully on the ground. The knees can be as bent as you'd like. The right leg can even come down to the ground, yeah? But open up, big side body here. Maybe even press down through the left leg even more. Right leg, we're gonna step it forward, fall in triangle. Press and lift. You can move the hips forward and back. Any movement here. Maybe cactusing this top arm. Make it extravagant. And downward facing dog. That always feels like such an extravagant pose for me. I'm gonna feed myself grapes, which I could do here in Sicily. Inhale, the heels lift. Exhale, send them over towards the left. So this time the right sole of the foot is planted. Big side body stretch. And then kick the left foot out and move in the hips. Just straighten one leg and then lengthen the other. And then maybe make a full extension here. And downward facing dog, spiral the heart down. Downward facing dog. Wave forward plank pose. And exhale, active child's pose. A couple more times, like we did in the beginning. Drag yourself forward. Open the heart. Exhale, round hips to heels. Twice more. Once more. Child's pose, one round of breath. Press down through the shins to roll yourself up. Keep the hips to the heels. And let the hands be in the lap or at heart center. Just a few rounds of breath to recalibrate. I always visualize like, turning one of those sand hourglasses back up, letting the sand settle. Feeling the vibration in your body, reminding you that you're alive. I wish I could send you some of this Sicilian breeze. But notice anything else that you feel where you are or any sounds that you hear. Anything bringing you into this exact moment. Bring your hands together. Thank yourself for showing up for you, for carving out this space. Often the hardest part is getting on the mat. So, well, well done, well played. Let's bow forward. Seal our practice. Namaste. <sighs> mm, that felt delicious. I hope that you enjoyed that. And be kind to yourself. It's a strange sequence. So just play around with it. Be, be curious, be curious and um, yeah, if you enjoyed this and you'd like to practice with me for longer classes, we get a lot more time to explore and some live opportunities, head over to CCY Studio and my membership site. And I have lots of different options to practice over there. So would love to go a bit deeper. And I will see you on your mat next time. 
Ciao from Sicily.